Today I made this awesome wrap. I thought I'd share with y'all. So what I did was I just cut down the side of corn, raw, got some raw corn here. Had a white onion, a scallion, cut that lengthwise, cucumber. And I made this sauce last night. It's supposed to be a general so sauce, but I didn't have hoisin sauce, so I put Bragg's and vegan Worcestershire sauce in it instead, and it still turned out good, so. What I have done here is made this rice with a little onion powder, salt, pepper, some curry, some cumin, and I put a splash of Bragg's in there as well. And here's this delicious wrap. Awesome flavored rice, corn, scallion, cucumber, and a little bit of that sauce. I'm telling you, this is fantastic. third hand to put more sauce on my wrap. Because it's really good. Mm, mm. Sometimes I make them and they're just fantastic. And then I don't write them down and I can't recreate them. I guess I need to make some sauce videos so that I remember how I made them. Huh? Mm. In the sauce that I've been putting on my wrap, whenever general so sauce so it's three cloves garlic minced I'm sure I put more like five I like garlic uh, one thumb of ginger it calls for I don't have that I've powdered so I put I don't know, a tablespoon in not tablespoon I put a teaspoon in a teaspoon of dried ginger I didn't have the half a cup of hoisin sauce so I put like probably a quarter or less of Bragg's um, and then I just had a little bit and barely in the bottom of the vegan Worcestershire sauce so I dumped that in there and then I rinsed the bottle out with water so another quarter cup of water maybe that I rinsed the Worcestershire out in um, and then it calls for two three tablespoons of soy sauce which I already put Bragg's in and then it says four tablespoons brown sugar. I pretty much put that in. Uh, one teaspoon red pepper flakes and one teaspoon sriracha. So I did put the red pepper flakes and the sriracha in. Mm, very good. Very, very good. Both ways, very good. Very good. I'm also 
we're going to do a vegan zombie tofu scramble here soon. And I got this tofurkey smoky maple tempeh to try. I need a tofu scramble soon. I cannot believe how much I love tofu scramble. It's amazing. I couldn't stand tofu years ago, like pretty much my whole life. I didn't know what tofu was. What it was, was, what it was all about. I didn't know anybody that knew how to cook tofu, I guess. That's the key. You have to have tofu cooked the right way. Just like everything else. You can have you can have good banana chips, you can have bad banana chips, you can have I've had, in my past, I've had good jerky and I've had really bad jerky. I mean, I've had good squash, bad squash, good potatoes, bad, you name it, every food. There's a good cook out there for it that's cooking it somewhere, and somewhere out there there's a bad cook sharing it with people, too. Just go to a local restaurant local vegan restaurant. You just order one of their tofu specials. Just try it. Ask what they would recommend for a first time. I think you'll enjoy it. I hope you've enjoyed thoroughly eating with me because I thoroughly enjoyed eating that wrap. I have just enough to make a small one. I think I will do so. Alright, let's see what else. Today I found some potato pancake mix. I was looking for some dried potatoes for backpacking the closest thing I've found so far. I was going to look at the store. I don't know what's in like those Hungry Jacks or whatever. I'm sure there's some sort of butter or something in them. Um, but not this one. This is just potatoes, starch, onion powder, onion juice, parsley, sodium, curcumin powder, sulfites, dehydrated, dehydrated parsley, natural flavor. That's the only thing that scares me. But Mixed packet, two cups of water. So, just two cups of water, and then just make little potato pancakes. So, I'm looking for a, uh, a more of a mashed potato though that I can mix, like in a bag. Just add water for backpacking. That's really light and easy to do. Cause I had a friend, she did potato dehydrated potatoes and dehydrated eggs, which I'm not gonna do that. But there is the Hampton Creek vegan egg I was thinking about. If it's just dehydrated and I just let it set, if I mix that with my pancakes and like some dehydrated red peppers and onions, things like that, dehydrated mushrooms. I could have a little skillet in a bag, per se, so I think I might try that. Pita bread for later. 
because I found Satan in a box. We're going to have Satan wrapped in pizzas. <laughs> Alright everybody, peace out. Enjoy yourselves. Plant some peace, plant some power, eat some plants.